I think this is uh, what Bitcoin is doing looks to me like just another leap of the spiral. And examples of the previous leaps that we've seen already, uh, uh, PayPal in like 10 years, uh, PayPal 10 years ago has allowed people to pay over the internet pretty much without any regulation. Or if you take it like 20 years back, internet has disrupted the structure of power by allowing free flow of information and control of information is one of the methods of control. And if you look even like 100 years back, right. uh, banking system, I guess, has done something similar by introducing an alternative to transferring the physical world. And people tend to re reproduce the same system where they are getting screwed again and again, no yes. matter how advanced instruments uh, you get into them. Uh, what do you think is the root cause of, of this behavior? Thanks. Um, that, that, that's a great question. I mean, I think the root cause of that behavior is that humans are prone to tribalism. And so we tend to make assumptions and have cognitive biases that um, are self-destructive as a species. But if you look at all of these, range, these periods of disruption, right, um, going from uh, a system where only royalty has access to what we now call banking, to banking that is available to the broader population, starting in the 15th and 16th century, to um, fiat, to the internet, to PayPal, to Bitcoin. One of the things you notice is that every time we have a halving of power, to use a Bitcoin metaphor, right, and the period keeps accelerating. So what we're doing is we're accelerating the the time during which we can apply a new disruption to the previous disruption, and power is diffusing more and more and more and more. And you can, some people look at the past and say, "Oh, it was a glorious time." Um, but to me, you know, I think today the world lives in in a time that where, where the vast majority of people have more freedom than ever before access to more resources, access to more information, higher standard of living than ever before. We're just accelerating the cycles. And again, I'm not married to the specific implementation of decentralization that is Bitcoin. I'm looking at decentralization as a trend. Bitcoin is the current incarnation that is achieving success, and when it stops fulfilling the needs of the people, we'll do something else if it stops fulfilling the needs of the people. 